Well, Marge continues to come in like a lion, and let's hope it goes out like a lamb, as the 18 inches of snow is dumped on the entire East Coast, and you see the remnants of it everywhere. And I'll tell you right now, as I shoveled for about 20 minutes yesterday just to get out of the driveway, out of the garage to go slaying, my back is feeling it today, baby. In no shape to shovel. I mean, obviously, unless you're blind, you can realize that. That ain't much of a stretch. That ain't much of a pick either. <laughs> yesterday, let me tell you something right now. Watched a little late night TV. And obviously, I wanted to see um, Paris Hilton on Craig Ferguson, because throughout the day they've been playing it. Let me tell you something. She looks smoking hot, and Ferguson gives a tremendous interview. That was really, really funny. And then I also wanted to see how the new show, well, obviously Conan is dead, and now to take his place, Jimmy Fallon makes his debut on late night TV, and let me tell you something. First, he has a gig where he brings three people out, and he brings stuff out that they have to lick. My opinion, bomb. Then I watch his monologue, bomb. He looked so nervous that he almost shit in his pants. Then he sits down and has his first guest, arguably the hardest guest in the world, unless you're talking about Joaquin Phoenix, who doesn't even fucking talk, okay? And let him even struggle with him. You got Robert De Niro. Now, obviously, De Niro is blasting his Tribeca Film Festival, so he's on, I guess, as a favor. They have no chemistry at all. That was a total bomb. I mean, a total disaster. Then they do a skit together, a bomb again. Then it loosened up a little bit where he has Justin Timberlake on the show, and at least both of them interacted a little bit. I think Tina Fey tonight will be a lot better guest, and I think there'll be a lot of laughs tonight going on. But first day on the job, Mr. Fallon, you fucking bomb. Now, not as bad as Chevy Chase, because remember Chevy Chase's show that lasted about a month, they gave him $5 million. they built the set for $2 million. that fucking guy couldn't even talk. That was not what we're looking at here. So Fallon bombs his debut show, but let's see if he builds a little momentum, because he should get a little better. He's got to have guests on that he can interact with, because yesterday was a total fucking disaster. And again, soup to nuts yesterday, I kept it under 10,000 calories. But that's all I can guarantee, baby. Under 10,000. Today's a new day. Today I start as an 1,800-calorie day. Let's see what we're going to do. Again, let's weigh myself. Let's see what I got, baby. Let's see where the scale is. Yesterday was 260. So I went from 262.5, 256.5, back up to 260.5. So still down two pounds. Can you tell? Can you tell that I look two pounds lighter? It's like throwing a fucking chair off the Titanic. How can anybody tell anything? Let's see what we got here today, baby. Ugh. What are we gonna weigh? Two fifty nine. Two fifty nine. All right. We're locking in two fifty nine. I guess all that shoveling and going up and down the best page golf course, up and down. Lost the pound. Love it. Love you. Check in on Fallon tonight with Tina Fey. Should be must-see TV. I'll speak to you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.